are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a portfolio website for graphic designers in Canva. The first thing you will need to do once on Canva, you are going to create an account and you can do this for completely free. After you have done that right below the search bar, you are going to select websites. And from here, you can see different options. So for example, you can see portfolio website, you are going to select that. After selecting portfolio website, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, I want you to pay attention to the left hand menu option. From here, you can see different templates that you can choose from. And keep in mind that the templates that has a pro or a crown beside it, that means that you'd have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But don't worry, there are numerous templates that you can use for completely free. All you need to do is scroll down until you see a template of your liking. Let's say for example, you would like to use this template. You can select it, then you'll see all the pages that comes with this template and you can choose whether you'd like to use all pages or only a particular page. Let's say I would like to use all the pages, so I'm going to select all the pages. You can see how it looks right there. But let's say you don't like the home page and you would like to change the home page. All you will need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and right where you see the plus that says add page, you're going to tap right there. So now that you have added a page, all you need to do to create your custom home page, you'll go back to the left hand menu option and you're going to select layouts. After selecting layouts, you can see the different layout option right here. So you can scroll down and you could select one of your liking. So let's say for example, for my home page, I would like to use this design right here or this design. All you'll need to do is simply select it. After you have selected that as your home page, you can move it up by tapping on the arrow right here that says move up. Now that you have moved it up from here, you can type in whatever information you want. And you'll also be able to drag and drop an image right here by simply going over to the left hand menu option, you could tap on uploads. And then from there, you could drag and drop an image or you could drag and drop a video as you can see right here. After doing that, you can edit the article. And also if you would like the image to be clickable, all you will need to do is tap on the image. After you have selected the image, you'll simply right click. Then from there, you will see the option link and you can tap on that. And from there, you can insert your link. So it is as simple as that. But I'm going to delete that template and I'm going to use the original home page. From here, you'll be able to edit the name so you can simply select the entire text box. And if you wanted to, for example, change the font size or style, you can go to the top left hand menu option right here. And you can select right where you see a hundred on my screen and you could change that. You can also tap on heading and you could change that also. And by going down right where you see the image right here, you can add your own image or video to this section. You can also scroll down and you can edit each section quickly. So you can simply pull and place whatever you would want on the different pages. And also if it is a case that you would like to change the background image or the background color, you can do that by simply selecting a particular page or section. And then from there, you could tap on background color and then you could change the background color to whatever you want. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on preview from the top right hand corner. And by doing that, you'll be able to see how your website looks. So you can see how the website looks right here on the preview. But one thing I would like you to know before, for example, if you would like to create a navigation bar, because as you can see right here on the preview, there is no navigation bar that is typically at the top right hand corner of a website. So that once someone is browsing your website, they can quickly navigate around it. To create a navigation bar on Canva, all you'll need to do is name the pages. So for example, we will call this the home page. You're going to tap right where you see add notes, the pencil icon right there. 
and you're going to tap right here where you see a note and you can simply type in for example home so we'll type in home right there after you have done that you can go down and you'll see page two and let's say page two i will simply call it for example the artistic so let's do that then you'll simply scroll down and you'll do the same thing for page three so you'll see right here page three and you could call page three for example tests and then you can continue naming each page after naming each page if for example you would like to interlink pages so let's say for example you would like to link this page back to page one all you'll need to do is simply select the text that you are image that you would like to link it back to then from there you're going to tap on the link icon and you'll simply scroll down so let's say i would like to link back this text to page two or page one i can simply select it right there so now once someone taps on this link they'll be redirected to the home page and you can continue naming each page so for example you could name this the cv page right here so we can do that real quick now if we were to tap on preview in the top right hand corner you'll realize that there is now a navigation bar active right there or visible so you can see it right there so if we were to tap on cv you can see it carries us to the cv page if i were to tap on this you can see that it carries us right there and if I were to tap on the link, you'll realize that it carries us to the home page. Now, all you'll need to do is tap on publish and you'll be provided with a free domain name that you can use. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.